start another group. Then he'll be all right. It'll it'll stop. Or we'll just have to ignore it. Whichever way. That's fine. It'll say he's unavailable. All right, it went away. Now. Dripping. I'm going to turn the blur shit off. Welcome to a, a fake episode of Wiggas. That's it. Wiggas. All right, is my does my camera go away when I do that? Uh, I haven't seen your camera go away yet. All right. Does it do it now? No. All right, Josh. Up, brother. Welcome back to... Why is my fucking blur on? It says my blur is off. We never had technical difficulties. Now we're, well, now we're straight. Now we're straight. I used to be gay, but now we're straight. Just like my, my little Yiannopoulos, and dogs don't bark at him anymore. Uh, shout out my... Look, I'm about to restart this recording. Go on. Hello? Check, check, check. One, two. All Are right. Don't worry about anything we just said. Welcome back to Wiggas. Wiggas. <laughs> this is a fake episode, so we don't care. All right, Josh. Uh, who? But welcome back to Who Wants to Be a Wibble 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 Air Wibble Air. Uh, there's who wants to be a Wibble Air. Yeah, there's questions that I found online, and this uh. Uh, it was from a website that I'm not going to mention because they I've contacted them, Josh, and they don't want to pay up. So they don't want to sponsor the podcast. They said they watched it and They're they were pussies. not impressed. They were impressed, to say the least. least. So. Yeah, they were unimpressed. Um, but the first question is stupid. Are you a morning or a night person? Um, neither. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I wake up at like fucking like 10 in the afternoon and then I go to bed at like 11 p.m. I'm awake for 13 hours a day. That's it. That's all you get of me. 10 so in the I, afternoon? I, yeah, 10 in the afternoon, you know. <laughs> I, I wake up at 10 in the afternoon, I go to bed at 11 in the morning. Yeah. Or 11, 11 in the evening? Yeah, no, I meant 10 in the morning, 11 in the evening. So, like, I'm not a, a morning person by any means, like, at all. I will wake up at, like, 9 o'clock eight o'clock in the morning at the earliest i don't like the and sun then, and then i don't like going to bed like super late i i just don't i want to go to bed at like at the latest two in the morning period like that's the latest i'm trying to stay up other than that like you know no on a normal night 11 p.m at night i'm trying to go to bed so I'm neither a morning nor a night person. I'm a sleep oh, as much as I can type of person. I might be a little of both. I don't know, dude, because I don't like waking up at all. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> waking up, man. Waking up is the worst. I think yeah. that's why I'm not a mor morning person, because it doesn't matter the time I wake up. I don't want to. Yeah, I'm like, why ain't I dead? And then when I am when I am awake, I'm just like, all right, can I just like go to bed now? Go back to sleep, yes. Like, but can... you can't. No. Yeah, we we just need to live in an alternate fucking reality simulation. Yeah. Speaking or... of reality, well, uh, I am kind of a night person. Though. I do like to uh, walk walk the streets at night and uh, make my money. The 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 true school way, you know, sucking dick on the corner. On the corner. Mm-hmm. The next question is, 
do you like reality shows? I guess uh, I'll. You, you need to go into the chat and read the questions as well. So I guess you got to read the next two questions because you're over there. Um, okay. Do I like reality shows? Do I watch reality shows? I think is the is uh the actual um yeah the actual question. Do you watch them? Because it doesn't really matter if you enjoy it. It because if you're still consuming. It. I'll tell it you one thing. Counts. There is some, there is some uh, pretty decent ones. Like first off, um, what will we say? Oh, like Ninety Day Fiance is a fucking masterpiece, bro. Is it? It's a masterpiece, dude. It is literally the cringiest shit on the fucking planet. Of. Like people who just they want to be loved so bad, Josh, but they are so unlovable. <laughs> they're the worst people on the entire planet. And it's not even like they're ugly, like their soul is ugly, dude. And I mean, I know there's people who would say that about us, but, but they don't oh. know us, you know what I mean? Like, but like the the veneer that the reality show gives them, the fucking whatever, the persona, the character, is yeah. just awful. But, like, some of them create a cult of personality around them. Like, uh, there's the there's the one dude, I don't know his name, he looks like a fucking thumb. Are you beating off? I'm making Sriracha Ranch. Oh. Thank you for showing the camera, because it just sounds like you're fucking yoinking it right here in the anybody who's uh listening at home josh just showed us he was yoinking his, his goink it's um it's two-thirds ranch one-third sriracha and then cover okay. the top dust the top with garlic powder okay fucking fire but yeah, there's a cult of personality around this dude. He looks like a thumb thumb from Spy Kids One. He's got like receding hairline, the nasty, greasy, like Italian fucking look. Like, and his neck like runs into his shoulders like a fucking bad accident. Yes, yes, no, yes, yes, yes about. yeah, yeah. And he fucking he's, he's like, walking around. He's like, I can't yeah. believe my wife doesn't love me. I flew yeah, all yeah. the way over here from Russia, and I lied to her about how much money I made. And then I now she's mad course. that I don't make as much money as I said I was going to make. He's like fucking Humpty Dumpty uh, had a kid with da- Danny DeVito. Yeah. He's, he looks like... <laughs> See, I'm like, it ain't all their looks, but that's a, that's a fucking portion of it, man. I mean, let's, let's be real, like... He met up with homegirl and he told her he was so he was like at such and such height. Like, bruh, she was like this to this man, bro. Yeah. It was yeah, funny. And and he lied to her about how much money he made. He lied to her about a whole bunch of other things. And it's like Bro, like Oh, and he was just bitching about the way that they live like there the whole time, like being so fucking just like and I don't want to be like he's classist but he is like yeah. he was just like you guys are fucking poor dude <laughs> it's like yo eat shit bro chill out you're in a you went to her third world country because you fell in love with her and then you get there and there's no running fucking hot water and you're mad oh like you were supposed to be her fucking white savior, fucking Mr. fucking uh, Penguin. He looks like the Penguin from Batman. He walks like the Penguin from Batman, too, bro. I I paid for you to come from this country, to come from your country, from some abject poverty. And, 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 and 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 when I and and when we get to California, and, and 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 I'm not able to provide the house that I told you that I was able to provide for you. You 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 you, you think that you're able to fuck your 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 
you, you, your personal trainer here that I that I, I pay you a personal trainer and you 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 think that you can just you can fuck your personal trainer after I brought you here from your yep. fucking country with yep. my money, you fucking whore. Fucking whore. That show is off the rails, bro. That one's good. What else is there that's good? I honestly enjoy cringy uh, house renovation shows, even though I know that, I mean, it shows them doing some work, but they ain't doing that work, man. Bro. They ain't Let's doing that work. down these walls. <laughs> Wasn't that so much work? High five, everybody! Let's go. Let's go for lunch while the Mexicans do everything, and we pay them eight dollars an hour. Fucking facts! Look, we're calling you out, HGTV, right here on WWJD. We're we're starting the war, WWJD versus HGTV and go TLC. Fuck yeah, go fuck yourself, TLC. Yeah, go TLC fuck yourself, too. HGTV. Fuck yeah. Fuck you, Annie. You're gonna try and fucking because like they do. You're gonna try and capitalize off of fucking marginalized people and making them All look the like time. fucking freaks. All the time, than, they got rather the than fucking... legitimately helping them and making them seem like they're a incorporative part of our fucking society. Yeah, go yeah. fuck yourself. Yeah, go they have yourself. midget shows where it's just like, you know, they're, you're just joking on midgets and shit. Like, come on, man. They have the A&E intervention shows. You're just joking on fucking junkies, man. You're like, you know what I mean? Like, the one episode that really sticks in my mind is the dude who was smoking meth. And he's like, uh, so-and-so smokes meth, and then he masturbates for 12 hours. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. for sure. And what, what is, what? Did you need it? You didn't need to, did you? Like that's uh, and Ian, the TLC is like, look at these fucking weirdos who uh are eating uh detergent and shit. Look at these hoarders. Like yeah, fuck you, fuck you TLC and fuck you HGTV, bro. Like are are you people fucking weird? And the HGTV is like, hey, look at these people who are in abject poverty due to fucking uh <laughs> political. Political fucking, you know, um, fuck, I can't think of the word because I'm drunk. Um, dystopia. Policies. Political dystopic, policies. Dystopic. Dystopic policy. Fucking policies, for real, where people are living in abject poverty. Look at this fucking freak who lives in abject poverty with his three kids, and his one kid is retarded. Check this out. We're gonna we're gonna help him out by giving him two hundred thousand dollars, and we're gonna renovate his house. And then at the end of the year, and now that his property value is brought up three hundred percent, we're gonna leave him with the tax value of his property, and he's gonna be owed that at the end of every year. <laughs> and it's like because you're fucking... never allowed to own anything in America. Period. Thanks. And then touch. Move that bus. And they they move the bus, and it's just a fucking it's a new section eight like fucking housing fucking unit. They're like move that, but thanks, Ty. Wow, the so walls are fucking complex. the walls are concrete. Thanks, Ty. Bro, li- literally, <laughs> the floors are fucking uh like uh moving blankets with no fucking padding underneath them that type of carpet they're like a moving blanket bro literally um cities with like high rise apartment buildings for low income neighborhoods yeah, yeah. Hey, move. move into the shithole <laughs> what are they they're like move that uh, oh it's yeah, like the Macy's man. parade it's the Macy's parade. They're like, move that SpongeBob. They move SpongeBob, and it's like a big fucking nice ten-story fucking tenement. <laughs> move. And like, oh yes. And Spongebob. and then the mayor's like, we we gon we gon fit about four five thousand of them up inside that building at one time. We gon fit. I don't give a damn. If they Chinese, Mexicans, blacks. Put them in there. <laughs> Exactly how the fucking urban cities are, bro. Uh, all I know, all I know is that that due to our statistics from my inbred brother-in-law, 
uh, 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 they increase crime. So put them all in one building over there. We'll be all one, right. One building will keep them all at bay. <laughs> <laughs> Ignorant motherfuckers, man. Yeah, uh... Crazy, man. Cause we're, we're, happening. Yeah, we're pissed. We're pissed. Fuck you, HGTV. Fuck you, TLC. Fuck you, Annie. All three of you. Oh, did I tell you about why I was pissed off at MSNBC? About the fucking cop? Well, what happened? Okay, so they're talking about the January 1st... Or, I mean, the January 6th um, riot at the Capitol or whatever. The taking over of the Capitol. And it's like these police officers... And they're just like, <clears throat> it's like five or six of them. They're all just like, you know, really torn up about being attacked at the Capitol and the <laughs> attack on democracy and what it, what it means for the country and how, how they were so scared on that day for their lives and all. And, and um, you know. There was uh, one lady didn't specific. Let them, didn't, hold up. Didn't they let him like, walk right through? No. No. Not. No. Nah. There, there were motherfuckers getting No, there I thought that there was so little, so little amount of fucking cops that they fucking let them walk through in some fucking places. Because the police presence. I saw the, the video that I've seen from what I've seen. Uh, you know, police were getting smashed in doors, windows were being broken open with uh, yeah, pickaxes and shovels. Some of that shit. shit, like the 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 storming of it, but like when yeah. it, once it, it already got it, opened, it, it, yeah, it, yeah, it they just open. were like, "Fuck it, okay, okay, yeah, okay." They were treated. I, I didn't see the initial fucking like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was, I mean, it was pretty violent. It was pretty fucking violent when they were trying to get in there. I mean, for sure. Home girl like, got when, the up to the point, I'll say, like, up to the point to where they got to the doors, everything seemed pretty much like uh, one crowd versus a bigger crowd, and they got pushed further and further back. But once it became a inside versus outside battle, uh, that's kind of where I feel like i saw a lot more of the violence coming out and like yeah a so lot these, more of the breaking windows tra- these but, cops are traumatized it, it, yeah these cops are traumatized and they're crying and there's one specifically that sets me off because she's like oh i'm a army war veteran i was deployed in afghanistan or whatever the fuck and then i came back and now i've become a police officer and i just blah 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 and she starts crying and i'm just like wham boo hoo you you went overseas to Afghanistan to bully some brown people in their country, and no one over there could pick on you. Then you came back here, and you became a police officer, so you could enforce whatever fucking, uh, uh, you know, power you had over people again, and you never had to feel like you were in an unsafe situation. Yeah, you don't have to pe- feel vulnerable the, ever. Be- because of the people you work for. Yet, yeah, when no, I don't have to feel work, vulnerable. Yeah, when the people you work for consistently pass unconstitutional law after unconstitutional law after unconstitutional law, and people start rising up and attacking you for working for the people that are attacking their rights, you suddenly are scared and you want to cry about it. Like, get the fuck over yourself, bro. Fuck you. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, analyze who the fuck you're working for. If you're worried about civilians attacking you, maybe you should be more worried about the reason why civilians might be attacking you in the first place. Might be wanting to attack you in the first place, yeah. Right, right. Like, fuck out of here. That's why. that line of work. We didn't choose for our fucking rights to be systematically taken away over and over again, year after year. Like, fuck out of here. And And we're saying this, we're saying this as black people, right? Me and you? No. (laughs) No, As as poor people, we're definitely saying. As poor people, man. And, like, the other thing that I was thinking of is, like, the whole time, I started, like, seething. I was just like, imagine when you realize that those people on January 6th start communicating with the people at the BLM 
Yes, and they literally they realize out and say, that. "Wait for them, wait for them to realize that there's a common enemy," and yeah, and then it starts against the same people. Yeah. and then and then you're really gonna have to worry about your safety because it's yeah. not gonna be a couple of poles and stuff. People are gonna be cutting off your fucking heads, and it's gonna yeah, be real. Are. It's gonna be a real political shit show. If it's the right be like a fucking French Revolution, it'll be like Rome, dude. They're gonna burn yeah. everything, bro. It's these, gonna be insane. These people are violent in this country, but they've been fucking repressed and repressed and repressed. The fucking violence is gonna come out if you continue to take people's fucking rights and you continue to like divide people and divide people and divide people. Eventually, shit's gonna pop off. And with the fucking information era, the way we're able to communicate with each other, we're seeing through their bullshit, especially Gen Z. Gen Z is seeing through their bullshit like like nothing else. Like the, low key, low key, that's why I love TikTok. Kids up there I, are fucking based as fuck and they're not like ideologues of Nazism or like being commies or anything like that. Like they're kind of like, hey man nothing's ever been right to where what to what we've seen everything has always been corrupt and they were able to put a veneer yeah they are they were able to put a veneer on it sort of for us but they weren't able to uh very good because like you know we were we were believing in 9-11 conspiracies before fucking end of middle school yeah you know like we were were only doing it but so well yeah, by seventh eighth grade, we, we but like you know, there's kids eight years old nowadays who fucking know nine eleven is an inside job, and then know that Obama was dropping drones on people, know that uh, Clinton was fucking uh, raping women at the very least. We'll, we'll just leave it at that. Avoid raping women at the very least. That is a fact. So In- importing <laughs> cocaine from Mexico, involving himself with the cartels, you know, yeah. at the very least, these are fucking like, bro. So yeah, like they they have they've they just they've have seen way more access to information. Yeah, and not only do they have access to information, but there's also the um, I don't know what it's called, but it's the idea that like, you know, as there's more people, there's more wise people. So as there's more wise people, the generation that's underneath of them is able to be wiser than the generation before them. And because there's more wise people, they're even exponentially wiser. You know hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel that. I I, I wish that had happened for the past 2,000 years. <laughs> I think it has. I think it has. A like, bit, honestly, yeah. A bit, I, yeah. But, I mean, but that's, the fact that's that why we've, feel... we've The fact that we've moved like shit like alchemy to modern medicine and biology and chemistry and shit like that, that's fucking pretty cool to me. That we started off with motherfuckers just playing in the dirt and now they're, you know, transplanting hearts. Like Right. Trying trying to fucking change metals into other metals and then, you know, in in that regard and found chemistry, found biology, found fucking because that's what the foundations of all of that shit is. Right, right. Calculus, all all of it, like and that's what I'm saying, like the smarter you mean people calculus? are. Huh? What do you mean calculus? I mean like the person who invented calculus was only a um he it was, was Isaac. Invented... He... Okay, so Isaac Newton invented calculus, and he. I did. I do know that it's true. I swear. I, I'm saying they're limited by their ability to understand the world yeah, and how yeah. it works if, around. If he had a, yeah, if he so had like, like a calculator, if you, if you have <laughs> thousands, if you have thousands of people that already understand and comprehend yeah. the work of somebody that's a genius, then. A, it is less hard for you to create a bridge for people to be able to access that information also in a comprehensive way. Yes, so yes. Everyone is... Because it used to be, man, you'd have to go to the library. You know? I mean, right. and this, this has been done to death. This What we're talking about has been done to death. But you used to have to go to the library to fuck it, and then you'd have to skim at least to grab the the whatever fucking knowledge you were looking for 
But like, um, now it's you know these kids are it's at the tip of their fucking fingers, man. They yeah, they want to know a, they want to know an answer. They just say, "Hey, what's what's the size? What's the surface area of the sun?" Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Go look it up. Um, they just go, "What's the surface area of the sun?" Oh, okay. And then from there, they can make whatever mathematical equation they want possible. And what does uh, Epstein's cock taste like? You know, you can just you just Google it as a kid. It it's shaped <laughs> like an egg, but it doesn't taste like <laughs> one. Oh my god, it's shaped like the dude from fucking Ninety Day Fiance. Uh, thank you for coming to WWJD, folks. We bring the jokes right back around. Look, we've been we've been planning that bit. Hi. High brow. Yeah, Epstein's cock looks like the dude from 90 Day Fiance. That's fucking beautiful. Oh, man. Yeah, it was egg-shaped to her. That's Which what, is uh, not a bad shape. So, so, <laughs> oh, my God, bro. Shut up, man. <laughs> she made a little extra money in high school, huh? Yeah. What what kills me is he was only giving him like a hundred, two hundred dollars. This man was worth five hundred million, and he's like, he's like, oh, you're gonna shut up for a hundred, two hundred dollars? Like, what a fucking like absolute arrogant motherfucker. You know what I mean? Just like you know, I actually I had a uh, I had a thought about this um, a couple days ago because I was driving through my neighborhood and I saw this like fucking. Like, these two, like, 15-year-old kids. Like, one of... It's a, a guy and a girl. I think. Maybe whatever. Anyways, it's these two people. One person has, like, the chains and the haircut that's similar to mine. Maybe a little bit more faded. Some chains and, like, a nice pressed shirt and, like, some real nice pants. Jordan's on. And then the the female accompanying him has a fucking you know just like the bikini top on and some little booty shorts or whatever and i i see these two people walking past me and i'm just like that's got fucking 15 dollars worth of fucking weed written all over it (laughs) (laughs) and then i thought about it and i was just like bro this is how the predators operate because like can you imagine a hundred dollars to one of those kids like i just thought about that and i was just like when i was that age and i was walking down the road if somebody rolled down the window and was like hey yo bro you want to make a hundred dollars real quick i'd be like yo what's up and then that's when you got molested right yeah that's when uh my <laughs> my uh my first sexual experience transpired yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Same here, right down here on Union Branch Road. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not saying same maybe not a hundred dollars, but you know what I mean, like. But yeah, he was just giving them like a hundred, two hundred bucks, bro. Yeah, but even even just being like, "Hey, man, y'all smoke." Yeah, here's a, yeah. Here's a little butter too. What's a butter too? When when you're an adult and you got money like that, what's a butter too to be like, "Hey, here, go smoke." smoke this and then you make like now you have two young impressionable people and like yeah so you get the feet you get the female over your you know it's very like i never thought about it like that but it's how it is little money such little money is so easy to influence like younger people because they don't understand what money is worth And it's right, I had to blow like, my head. like fucking robbing people too. Like, hey, yo, let's go rob. Yo, well, I had a conversation with someone about that, about how I don't like Cardi B because of what she did, and she doesn't get like vilified for it. Versus like how uh, I, I'm not defending what Doja Cat did, but Doja Cat was just in a chat room with some people making some racist jokes. I'm kind of on a podcast 
where we make racist jokes. So <laughs> I, yeah. you know, so I can't fucking, uh, I, you know, whatever. Uh, we're just joking, but like, I don't know. Some of those people found were found out to be like real Nazis or something, or were affiliated with real Nazis, whatever. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cardi yeah, B yeah. was was drugging motherfuckers and stealing their money. Yeah, and that's not cool either. Because if they were people were doing that to women, they wouldn't be happy about it. But we, everybody knows, you know. Women don't have any money. <laughs> They're coming out there to drug men so they can steal their money. <laughs> no, like I that's mean, just uh, Cardi B doing that was just like cringe. And yeah. but I mean, I understand her being in a fucked up situation. However, comma, I've been in fucked up situations before. Right, yeah. right. So basically, you what I purchased or say, hold up, you purchased or acquired these this date rate drug or whatever the fuck you use for a re, like you went. This is premeditated. It won't like you know you just robbed this motherfucker who you went home with or what you premeditatedly oh. bought drugs, drugged their drink, went home with them under the premise you're gonna have sex with them. When they fall asleep, you stole their money. You are a trashy motherfucker, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's that's disgusting. That's, that's fucked up to do to someone. I don't care if they're fucking men who are trying to fuck you because they're fucking disgusting as well. You're robbing them. The two wrongs don't make a right. Right, yeah, that's fucking... You, know, you should have just killed him. You should have just killed him. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's, yeah. A, he's, he's oh, terrible oh, for being oh, a, a he's, John. He's, he's trying to fuck me anyways. Yeah, you know, you could say the same thing about the hooker I killed. She was trying to fuck me anyways. Yeah, you know. So it, does, it doesn't matter what I do to her after that point because uh, she was trying to have sex with me. So that justifies anything that I do to them. People are people. I, like, I don't like, like, okay, if uh, it's like a girl, she's, she was a stripper. You have to be in most places. I don't know how seedy some places are vetted that you're 18 years old to work in a fucking strip club, first off. So it's not like he bought an underage prostitute and then the underage prostitute drugged him and then fucking stole his money because I would laugh at that. Right. I would fucking laugh if she drugged him, stole his money, and slit his fucking throat because he knew she was an underage prostitute. I would fucking laugh hysterically over that. But – that ain't the case, you know. You're you're thinking that oh shit, I'm going home with this bad bitch. You know what I mean? Like hell yeah, you know. And then you get roofied and your money's gone. Uh, you know, if you're offering yourself, even if she didn't offer herself for money and just was like, I don't fuck you. But if she offered herself for money or said, Hey, I'll fuck you, and then you drug them and then steal their dude she's a piece of shit for that bro and it's like some people are like you got to get it how you live i'm like well if i see cardi b in the streets i might just put a gun to her fucking head and take all her money huh you know because she's doing well off and that's <laughs> she's doing much better than me how I live. i'm just getting it how i live baby i'm a felon what do you want me to do sweetie that's, that's just how we do that's just how we do it we yeah just, that shit is funny, right? Like we rob you can't, people. You can't justify that, man. Like you can't justify that. That's it's mental gymnastics. Viable. It's just yeah, mental yeah. gymnastics at its finest, trying to justify that. Like yeah. and and the person I was talking to, I, I'm not trying to insult them or anything, but like they just said they like Cardi B. And I'm like, well, I like R. Kelly. I love his work. His music, I don't I'm not real fond of, you know. Uh, God, I love that joke. <laughs> uh, for real though, it's a Norm McDonald joke where he's like, <laughs> "Love Bill Cosby, love his work." He's like, "Wasn't a real big fan of his comedy." <laughs> this is like right after it happened, you know? Like he don't uh, give. <laughs> he's like, I wasn't a real big fan. <laughs> Shout out Norm. Thank you, Norm. We love if you, you came. If you came on the podcast, I'd shit myself. Came on the podcast, I'd kiss you on the mouth if you'd let me. He, he probably fucking just roast all of us, bro. <laughs> Very funny, yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, I would hope so. We're roast, we're 
Chris Worthy. Um, yes, facts. Like, like yeah. Tumba. Um, what's the next question? We just fucking rambled. Who cares? Uh, uh, if you could invent a holiday, what would it be? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Mine would be the whole summer, you know, like <laughs> my oh, holiday okay. would be yeah, you know? like the whole summer. I like that. I like that. <laughs> That's a lot less abrasive <laughs> than my uh. Oh, were you gonna uh sell? It? You're gonna make four twenty a fucking national holiday, weren't you? No, I, I fuck was thinking, with you. I don't I smoke was weed. More about like the bombing of Gaza. <laughs> Oh, okay. I was about to say I don't smoke weed either. Like two but weeks I, ago, we you know. celebrate four twenty because it's a good man's birthday. <laughs> we'll make <laughs> the big man upstairs. I'm sorry, that was a joke. That was a joke. That was a joke. No, uh, yeah. If I could invent a holiday, if I could for real, for real, a holiday. Um, I mean, I assume it would probably be about me because I'm just as selfish as every other human that invented a holiday. Pretty much, but I'm thinking like, uh, I don't know. I after you know what? Here, I'm gonna get it interesting. Are after, you forced to participate in the holiday that I create? Yes. Yes. Okay, so I can force you to participate? Yes, that's what okay. mine is the premise of. That's what mine's the premise okay. of. Since that's a much more uh, fun uh, holiday. <laughs> Everyone sucks Josh off day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Grandma, take your fucking dentures out, bitch. Yeah, bitch, get the sucking. You, you know what day it is. It's March 7th, ho. You ain't don't act like you ain't fucking ripped the day off the calendar this morning. You better fucking sort it. Uh, no, uh, since taking the vow silence thing, like a a silent day where nobody says a fucking word, dude. I would love that. That'd be it's phenomenal. Honestly, it's really, it's honestly really fucking zen for people to want me to talk so much, and I just don't. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. It feels so good. You're just jerking off, right? Yeah. You're like talking shit. Yep. All right. What? I think it'd be cool if we all just no, shut no. the fuck up for a day. No, no. I think, it, I think uh, it would be great if everyone shut the fuck up and didn't say anything for a day. That'd be great. I would love national that. National STFU day. That's yeah. mine. National STFU day. It's fucking July third. July third, <laughs> yeah. Then we get to celebrate right after. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Everybody, yeah. July third. It's a national day of silence to uh, yeah. recognize the fallen dead who who have died to secure the oil in Saudi Arabia. To secure the bag, those yeah, yeah. those who to fell. secure the American bag. <laughs> this is to salute to those who have fallen to secure the American bag. To all, my, to all my fallen brothers. <laughs> thank, thank you for dying to support, support Halliburton. You, you yeah. My brothers. <laughs> facts, facts. Thank you, uh, Blackwater. You guys. Yeah. You really you guys, have my best uh, interest at heart. You guys are the bomb, dude. Do you see my spider in the background? I forgot to ask you. Yeah, I do. Is that like an emoji face on it? Or what the fuck is going on with that thing? Oh, it's a it's a fucking minion. Yeah, he's eating it. Bro. He's That's got, sick. <laughs> he's got him fucking wrapped up. There's a a meme on TikTok where people like to comment. There's a spider behind you while you're alive, so I put a spider behind me because fuck you, you know. Like, leave me alone. Leave me alone, man. So I think um, on Friday, I'm going to start going to uh, cheer 
Um, okay. Open gym again. I'm going to start trying to get into it again. Hey, cheerleader. You know, big, buff, manly cheerleader. Okay. With a fucking with a fucking sweet pair of cheeks on the back. With a fucking with a fergalicious dunk on the with on the a, backside. With a fergalicious dump alicious makes some girls go crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bring in all the boys to the yard. Yeah, for sure. Oh yeah. My milkshake brings all the dads to the yard and they're like uh, my, my BMX bike is worth more than a hundred dollars. Yeah, I'm not taking no less than a hundred and ten for it. <laughs> I was gonna say something uh, about your milkshake bringing the dads to the yard, and then they're they're like they're like cutting the grass. Oh, they're so, okay. okay. They're just like uh, out that. there cutting the grass. I don't and know. They're like my Husqvarna is better than your Troy. Getting your fucking um uh I don't know. My zero turn brings all the dads to the yard and they're like My steel's better than yours. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> your cub cadet isn't better than my John Deere. I'll fight you. But I have to charge for my Toro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Um The next question is Moving on. Who wants to be a Wibba heir? We are really doing good. I think we made it three questions in. <laughs> nice. Yeah, this is good. Uh, three questions? This is why I said if we do the Wikipedia thing, we really don't need that much because we'll fucking riff forever about nothing. And it'll be funny because this is a pretty good episode. Hey, if you're Hopefully. watching this, it's a pretty fucking good episode, isn't it? You're loving it, right? Yeah, give this yeah, a, you like give it. This Do you want to see up? me smoke some salvia in the middle of the episode? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> give it a thumbs up. Give it a like. Subscribe. Uh, Eat my ass. <laughs> Don't smoke any salvia this episode. It would yeah, be a no. good episode. It would. I'd probably would. just be like, Ehh. It would like, make for a great episode. Let's be real. It would make maybe, for maybe, really good maybe when you get here one episode it'll just be like us with a camera pointed at us on the couch and we both just hit the fuck out of the salvia bowl and, and try and talk. Yeah, and try and talk. Maybe okay. I don't think we'll yeah, be able to. Gonna use. Do you know what your first or last name means? I know. Um, one of my names is from the Bible. Josh has a biblical like n- n- name to it. I don't know what it means though. Do you? Yeah, yeah. Joshua is like. I'm not exactly sure if he was like a prophet or if he was an angel, but I, I'm pretty sure he was like somebody who carried the word of God. Like that's can who Joshua still, was. Can you still see me or no? Yeah, I, I can see you. All right, we're about to check yours and mine. Fuck it, because I don't really know mine. Joshua, name meaning. Mm, meaning God is deliverance. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm supposed to deliver the word of God to people. And I think I do a decent job of this. I try to spread peace and love in the word of God. I don't like that one. I'm going to another one, man. Come on, man. What the fuck? Okay, that one's better. Okay. Because it said Greek, the first website, and it said defending men. <laughs> but this one says it now. and it I'm says, a menace. I'm a menace. Yeah. It says, yeah, I'm like a MGTOW uh, type uh, men's rights activist type guy. Um, It says... Protector of mankind or defender of mankind. It's uh the it comes from Alexander. Not a bad question. Stupid question. Thanks. Thanks for sending that in, guys. Um <laughs> what do you think awesome. the best invention is? The best uh, invention? You know mine's the thermos. 
You know I told you this joke. I'm not telling this joke. <laughs> but it's the thermos. Just so you yeah. Yeah. yeah, go kill yourself. Um, so the best invention is by far insulation. Insulation? Yeah. Of like any kind. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Because so, um, there's insulation it, it, for fires, insulation for houses, insulation for spacecraft, insulation for fucking aircraft, uh, right, boats, right. cars, the everything. Yeah, innovation and everything around the um, idea of insulation to protect uh, you from the outside elements. I think would probably be the greatest invention of all time. I think like refrigeration is up there for me. Yeah, for sure. To be able to preserve your food. And yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. Because like, I I fucking mentioned it a million times because it fucking blew my mind when I found this out. Uh, and people, I would, oh, my I would, I would argue about that how refrigeration they, is just insulation with a part fan. of it. Yeah, it is part of it. You have to, it has to be properly sealed and shit. Right, um. Yeah. Fucking, uh, the people at home might not know about this, as I've fucking told you a million times, probably. The, the way that people used to fucking refrigerate shit was so cool when they would have a stream that ran, and it was the same fucking temperature all year round. Oh, yeah, you tie it in a bag and put it in And put river. it in the fucking river, dude, and let it fucking... Yeah. And I yeah, was that's like, good... that's... Like, I don't know if me, even as a survivalist, would have thought of that until I heard it. Right, right. And that all adds into the idea of, like, kind of what I was saying about, like, as um, as the generations pass, everybody becomes wiser. Yeah. As a result of just the people Perfect. before them. As long as they're willing to accept and take in new information. What's that? Oh, what's the quote where he's like, uh, the only way he could see, see there was, or see because he was standing on the shoulders of giants or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like right. The, yeah, yeah. Or, or the other meme, like, uh, so-and-so walked, so so-and-so could run or something like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Uh, exactly. Uh, yeah. Vanilla Ice walked so Riff Raff could run, you yeah. know? I so, just, um, I feel like it's a, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. It, it's similar it to um, it you know, would be like uh, Ed Murphy, Eddie Murphy walk to so riff rap and run because <laughs> he's the white he's Eddie like, Murphy. He says that one of his like, raps. Um, it'd be like, ah, fuck, I can't remember his first name. Ax, uh, Maxwell walked so Ex- Epstein could run. <laughs> What his her dad? Yeah. Uh, oh man, Robert Maxwell walked so Jeffrey. Robert. Could, yeah. Good yeah. run. That's go. so funny. That's so <laughs> funny. But really though, so yeah. All right, one so more. I think, I think the best invention would be insulation, just because uh, you know, it can, it can um. You know, keep people from um, keep people's food uh, safe and protected until they're able to eat it. it can be, you're gonna your go. To, you're gonna talk like it's refrigeration, like it's the same thing. No, it is. It is because you put a piece of fucking ice inside of the container made out of insulation, and that's a refrigerator. That's a primitive. That's the. That's an ice box. And then all you do is now you put the ice in the top of the fridge and then you have a little fan that blows it onto the food inside of the insulated box. <laughs> insulated. And, and, then, and then you take the box. The but ice. refrigeration is a different. Yeah, yeah. Refrigeration is slightly different, but insulation. Uh, in, so insulation rides, is required. For good refrigeration. Refrigeration to be possible. Exactly. Not possible, just good. Yeah, you can make it out of fucking mud, but all your food would be inside of the mud. Right. (laughs) You can leave the walk-in freezer door open for a while. 
I don't know about your own freezer at home. All right, people at home, please don't leave your freezer door open because yeah, Kurt said. Yeah, everybody, everybody at home, leave your freezer <laughs> and refrigerator open. Open. And see how well, see how well the non-insulated <laughs> front of your refrigerator is able to keep all of the contents cold. <laughs> <laughs> Thank us later. <laughs> Thank me <laughs> later. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. No. Um, no so I, I was going to say electricity. No, not yet. But yet. we don't need electricity. Fuck electricity. Electricity, I think, has uh, contributed nothing but the sharp inclination of the downfall of human society. He says, while well, he takes a drink. <laughs> <laughs> On my iPhone 6. So you hate... You hate Benjamin Franklin, man? Yeah. Ben Fra- Benny Frankie? Little bitch. Fuck him. Unless he's on a piece of paper in my pocket. Fuck that, Wibble. Facts. Um, no, no. It's more about, like, um... I think that... Electricity is probably done more harm to human culture and society than it has done good like maybe some people are able to benefit from the Uh, industrial in general yeah industrialization in general has just fucked us man like there's a lot of people who are able to uh you know uh uh, achieve a better standard of living through this but I think as yeah. of a general rule of thumb as far as humans are supposed to be living humans, I, I not think that, society not society because it's needed in society but in humans we, yeah. uh, we will collect in smaller groups than fucking millions we're, we're still apes bro we're still apes yeah. it, it's happened the the amount that our society and our um, sphere of influence has expanded has not been matched with the um, expedience that we have evolved to be able to operate in the society that we're trying to form, I feel like, at least. That's just how I feel. I feel like I would rather revert to a monkey and be at one with my Bro, that's what I'm saying. Like surrounding. Even you like, know that's even, how I feel. That's vegan. I feel. Even you know as a vegan that fucking the way that we farm is fucked up too. Like yeah. it's yeah. ridiculous. We can't eat anything without it being a fucking literal uh some type of fucking burden upon Gaia. We cannot do anything without right. it. To, to raise one head of cow, or re- raise one head of cattle, I think is the correct way to say it. Uh, one head of cattle in the United States, I think it takes like almost a million gallons of water. There's only 3% of the water on the planet that is fresh water. So you compound yeah. the fact that you take a, millions of, a million gallons of water to raise one head of cattle. And then you multiply that by the millions and millions of head of cattle in the United States alone. It, it's not sustainable. It's fucking and, crazy. And, and then, then you you compound they, the morality. Fucking, yeah, the morality is where the, the is where it's worse than fucking plants, to be honest. But I mean, I still think of plants as living fucking things as yeah. well. You know, yeah, I just I, it, I think of it all. Honestly, I think of it more like as a one big living a, a thing. Sphere. Yeah, right. Because there shouldn't like, be this, this many so... humans. We should be living in tribes and yeah. killing. I feel like uh, we're mites. We're like mites on our own skin, on skin of, you know, of Earth. And then. I, I wouldn't say that just because um, I think well, you like, can make all... that perception of any any species that's able to advance rapidly. And take over multiple climates. 
We're a I, virus, boss. We I, just came to the blood right, pot right, thought. Yeah. Like the virus. Yeah, we're just like a virus, bro. Like I just think we're that. Like, I think I think we were, you know, just like all of the rest of Mother Nature's inventions and creations. We we're invented and created out of necessity. Yeah, and um, we've become we've gotten to a point as a species where we're above necessity and we're above yeah many things. We're as a as a general population, but we are still struggling. Excessive. We're being excessive and greedy, and right, right. and like consuming only what we well we're we're producing more than we consume. And yeah. we're still consuming more than we should be consuming. Yeah, we're consuming more than necessary for the people that are consuming. And then we're producing more than is consumable for the entire population. Yeah. And it doesn't make sense that these two things are happening at the same time. And it literally is like almost like we're living in the end times or whatever you might want to call it. The gay times. The gay times. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's just, uh, it's kind of gay. Yeah, it's me. Yeah, uh, I don't like it. All right, we're going to end on that note. Fuck Earth. Uh, we want the world to die. Um, Elon's going to take us to Mars, and we're going to get the fuck out of here. We're going to take a hyperloop to Mars. He's going to fucking make Dogecoin go to the moon. He's going to suck all of our dicks. He's not going to be just like every other billionaire. Yeah, yeah, that too. But uh, this is for everyone to know. Uh, if you're listening at home, we mean every single thing we say. If you're listening at home, we mean everything we say. And if you're watching at home, you're in on the joke. <laughs>